Yet God says, this is my reset, not theirs. Therefore, pay attention. You have seen men arise as they were promised keepers. Yet women shall arise now. And they shall keep the promise that they shall watch over their children. They will watch over their loved ones. They will watch over their homes. And there shall be gatherings among women that you will see arise in the months and the days ahead that shall cause great fear into the very bowels of hell and those even in the earth. For why are women arising to stand for their children? And why are the men standing? So it would seem in the shadow, but yet they are standing as their wives, their mothers, their grandparents, great-grandparents stand and say, we shall stand with God and our children for what is right in this nation. And when you see this happen, says the living God, you will know that there is very closely my honor that is coming once again upon families, marriages, children, homes, schools, universities, your laws, your politics. Yes, even those in the place of the White House and the Congress and the Senate. This will be a sign of what is to come. Where I say there was a day where the wives and the children and the men stood with swords in one hand and a hammer in the other to rebuild the walls. This would be a sign unto this nation that the rebuilding and the resetting, their divine reversals have now been set in place. And I'm bringing great restoration at this time to this country that will be like a domino that will begin to affect other nations. And this I speak as you see it throughout the spring and into the fall as they stand the woman being anointed and appointed to drive the stake into the headships of those who think that they can get away with what they have done to the children and the injustice that they have brought forth not so this is why pay attention in your politics I've already anointed, I've already appointed a woman who shall arise. You already see her. You know who she is. And yet, she is hidden in the purpose of who she is and what she will bring to this country. You have seen what a woman looks like who is bent on power, who cooperates with evil spirits like Jezebel. You have seen them in your places of government, but you have never seen what an anointed woman looks like in the place of high power and authority. But you will. You say, oh God, but we have one as vice president. No, you do not. Do not make me laugh. What you have is counterfeit. What I speak of, shall be the real because it shall be given as a gift by your God in your hour that has come now of truth liberty and justice says the living God